There's victory in the Lord. And it's faith and confidence in Christ and what He's done. Paul said, Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which is your victory, which has great recompense and reward. How many know that your, your faith and your confidence in the Lord is a great recompense and reward? Do you realize if your heart condemns you, then you don't have no confidence in, 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 with the Lord and that you can't receive anything from Him? You understand why people can't receive anything from the Lord? Is that if their confidence is shaken, their faith is shaken, God won't move outside of faith. Anything that's not a faith is sin. You ever read that? Amen. God is the rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Faith is the substance of things told for and the evidence of things not seen. And without it, you cannot please. You've got to believe that He is and that He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Well, if you don't have no confidence in Him, you're not going to seek Him. If you don't have no confidence or, or faith or trust in the Lord, you're not going to come to Him because you feel like it's hopeless anyway. That's why the Bible says don't to throw away your confidence, which is a great recompense and reward. That is your victory. Remember what Jesus taught when He talked about praying? He told His disciples, you've not even prayed to the Father. And He said, but now when you pray, pray because this is going to be your joy. You're going to pray and God's going to answer your prayer and then your joy is going to be complete. I pray God answers it. Man, I've got victory. Because I have, uh, I have favor with God. I can, I can go before His throne. I can seek His faith. I can pray. God bless my prayer. And then I can rejoice. That's why the Bible says, that's why the Bible says, amen, that, that when you come before the throne of grace, come with, with, with boldness, with confidence. If you don't come with, with confidence before the throne of grace, the Bible makes it plain. You're not going to receive anything from the Lord. If any man asks from the Lord, let him ask in faith nothing wavering for a double-minded man or a two-spirited person is unstable in all the ways. Let not that person think that they're going to receive anything from the Lord. That's why it's very important that your heart stays right in fellowship with God. Are you listening to me? If your heart condemns you not, then you have confidence with God in whatsoever you have, you receive of Him. But if your heart is condemning you, amen, the, the good thing about it is God's greater than your heart knows all things. Amen to God. That's why it's so important that you keep your hands clean. You keep your heart pure. Amen to God. If, if you've done anything that, that caused you to be separated from God or you lose your confidence, amen, what you've got to do is you've got to go and confess your sin to Him. And He's faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And He's able to restore back your confidence unto you, your faith. Amen to God. How many know the Bible says, and God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Romans the 12th chapter. Amen to God. God is the one that gives you that faith and that confidence in Him. There is victory in Christ.